Hey friends, what's up? It's Cece here. And I realize that sometimes I really suck at taking videos and explaining what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So here I am a few months later telling you about my trip. <laughs> so, Phang Na was absolutely amazing. This is a part of Vietnam. It's still in northern Vietnam, but like it's still very south from Hanoi. Something I didn't realize about Vietnam is how long and big of a country it is. So we decided to take a night train to Phang Na, which was... First time on a night train. <laughs> This was part of my giant culture shock in Vietnam, just how different it is in comparison to Korea. We survived and we made it with maybe little to no sleep, but it's fine. And then we had to catch a bus that we didn't know if it was going to come. Waiting for a bus at a non-existent bus station that we have to wave down because we don't know what time it comes. You know, just Vietnam things. At least there's good music. <laughs> the bus came. Ooh. Yes, thank the Lord. There was no actual bus stop. You just, we read this blog that you just kind of wait on the street and when you see the bus number, you just flag it down. So that's what we did. <laughs> and it worked and we made it. So then we had about an hour bus ride to our homestay, which we stayed at the most wonderful homestay. I will link it in the description. Her name was Lynn and her and her family were so wonderful to us. We were able to book our cave experience through them. There was delicious home-cooked food. They had free bikes for us to rent. It was right on this river. It was so beautiful. Um, and the family was so kind to us. Lynn was amazing. She spoke wonderful English. She picked us up from the bus stop and brought us to the bus stop at three in the morning to get to our next destination. Yeah, she was just so accommodating and so wonderful. And we loved staying there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So not only did I just watch a cow randomly walk by, this little girl just came and gave me a coconut. Oh my god, I love it here. <laughs> so nice. Check this out. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. So a little bit about Phang Na, if you haven't heard of it, it is home to the largest cave in the entire world. Unfortunately, it costs thousands of dollars to enter and only a thousand people per year can enter the cave. And we were also in the off season anyways, so. But this cave is huge, it has its own like ecosystem inside the cave. But luckily it's, I mean, it's part of a giant cave system um, on this huge national park and there are many, many caves to explore. So we did just a day trip one, which was about $66, um, which is totally worth it. We got breakfast, we got lunch, we got uh, transportation, guides, all the equipment we need, water, everything. So definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, so we had about an hour bus ride into the park, then maybe an hour, hour and a half hike to the cave. Here we go, we're going in this. Here's our crew. Here we go, Chrissy. <laughs> go away. Go away. 
come again another day. <laughs> All of us want to play. Ring, ring, go away. <laughs> so that was just absolutely beautiful being in the mountains, just being surrounded by nature. Oh my gosh, Vietnam has some of the most beautiful nature I've ever seen and it's so fun. There's just cows everywhere, there's little animals and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I would say Vietnam, you go there for the nature. You do the nature of Vietnam, like the city, go for a day, eat a bunch of food and then get back out into the nature. Like that's where it's at in Vietnam. Into the jungle we go. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah. We do, sir. What? Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Into the water we go. Hi, cow. Giới thiệu đây là chỗ của người ta là đoan chứng tử We are out here on the cave <laughs> so amazing! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, not, not there. Miss it, miss it, everything. Miss there, you can put some like uh, tofu as. And cut it. You put it inside. You put it inside, and you roll it. <coughs> Let's go, cave. <laughs> About to go into the cave. <laughs> I check two day for two day and one night. We open the cave from two thousand. And to make some sound from it. Mm. So I will do a give it several. Right? What's a drum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking bats, man. I love them. Look at it. It's freaking bats. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Am I going the wrong way? No, you're good. <laughs> Once you reach the ladder and like come down a little bit, turn oh around. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yes, Christy. How you doing? him so much. He's so cute. So excited. He's got a cicada on his back, no big deal. What? Oh my gosh. Cicada accessories. <laughs> but the absolute best part of this trip to Phong Nha, honestly, was the full moon. We ended up being there during the full moon and the homestay we were at, they have this family tradition of everyone getting together and eating together. So the whole family was over and um, and that night we actually ended up hanging out with our tour guide boat. Yeah. All of our friends. Oh, I did with the video. <laughs> <laughs> 
They gave us homemade wine. The kids came out and played cards with us. So we were just having such a wholesome night. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> Just playing cards with our new besties. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and Bot is the best tour guide slash bestie. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> that was definitely the highlight of Vietnam for me. So I can't recommend it more. I can't recommend the homestay more and the tour and everything was just so much fun and so amazing. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Oh hell no. This is huge. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he lost it. Uh oh. This is scratchy head. This is scary.